Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with a Rahu Ketu video. Somebody asked me that he had seen somewhere in YouTube that if Rahu Ketu's dispositors are conjunct in the horoscope, then it's a very big Raj Yoga. But he was asking me that he has this conjunction. So his Rahu is in a zodiac sign X and Ketu is in a zodiac sign Y, seven houses apart. And X and Y are sitting together in the horoscope somewhere. Okay. But why is there no effects of the Raj Yoga? Well, that is something which we shall discuss today. If if there is any Raj Yoga like this, or if it is there, what kind of a Raj Yoga is it? Okay. Or how do you study Raj Yogas with uh, which are related to Rahu and Ketu, right? So as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your career or marriage, then please go to my website down in the description section. What is there with you all the time? Just look to him and you will find him. You must find him. <laughs> all right. So <clears throat> the rules for interpreting Rahu and Ketu, they are pretty different. They're same. Uh, they're not different literally. They're same, but... There are more rules, a lot of additions. So generally, how do you interpret the results of a planet? The first step to determining the results is to see the lordships and the placement in the bhav chart. Then, once you see, so suppose sun is the lord of your fifth house in the bhav chart. And then he's sitting in the uh, second house. So then he's going to give results of the second house and the fifth house. So if you're married, then you might have children because these two houses are related to children. That's the first step. So then you, you will check the sign. Is it exalted? Is it debilitated? Is it an own sign? Is it an enemy sign? Is it in multiple? Or is it in the sign of exaltation but cross the degrees of exaltation and gone to multricorn? Okay, or is it in the sign of multricorn but cross the degrees of multricorn and gone to own sign? So, the sign will tell you the level of awareness. Okay. So, then these two rules help us to start. And then we have Ashtagvarga, then we have the Navamsha, then we have the divisional charts, then we have transits, then we have Shadbala, then we have um, aspects, so many things. And you know, then we have the coherence, the flow of the chart. Where is the chart flowing? Okay. So, these are the things which we use when we predict the results of a planet but for Rahu Ketu it's um, more actually so Rahu Ketu placement of Rahu is taken from the Bhav chart so wherever Rahu is in your Bhav chart that placement you must take and yes uh, as usual I'll be flooded with questions what is Bhav chart especially people from the west they have really heard this term Bhav chart and that is why they are clueless of what this is so you can type exotic astrology Bhav chart Okay, you will find that video. It's uh, a red, pink color thumbnail video. You'll find it. Okay, B H A A V C H A R T, and you can type exotic astrology. So, bhav chart is the chart where, uh, uh, which tells you where a planet is sitting in which house. Okay, so before, so for example, if you are a Cancer ascendant and you have uh, Mars in Capricorn, okay, then you will think that oh, it's in my seventh house, right? No, it could also be in your sixth house because the degree where it is sitting in Capricorn, that degree Kelly may, may not have reached the seventh house. It could be still in your sixth house. Okay. As an example, I'm saying. So please watch the bhav chart video. So Rahu Ketu's placements are taken from the bhav chart. Then the conjunctions are taken from the Rashi chart, which is known as the typical D1 uh, Lagna ascendant chart. Okay. So for example, if Rahu is conjunct Saturn, or a cancer ascendant, then because Saturn is the lord of the seventh and the eighth, wherever Rahu is sitting, wherever Saturn is sitting, okay. So suppose Saturn is in the third house, but he is the lord of the seventh and eighth. Then Rahu will also give results of the seventh house and the eighth house, okay. And he himself may be in the third house, so he gives, he gives results of the third house also. So this person could do some travel after marriage. Some the person might have to travel because of some sudden unknown reason because of the eighth house, as an example. And uh, then we always have the nakshatras. And do not forget, Rahu Ketu gives results of the dispositors also. So suppose Rahu is in Capricorn or a Cancer ascendant, 
then Rahu will again he will give results of Saturn because Saturn is the dispositor. Okay? So yes, the dispositor is always from the uh, Rashi chart because even if in a bhav chart the planet changes the house, it won't ever change the sign. Okay. So therefore, the dispositor has to be seen from the Rashi chart. And the dispositor's placement is again seen from the bhav chart. Okay. So once you see all this, then you see the planets which aspect Rahu Ketu. Not which Rahu Ketu aspect, the planets which are aspecting Rahu. So for example, for Cancer Ascendant, if Saturn <coughs> uh, is you know aspecting Rahu, Saturn, Saturn is anywhere, you know, maybe he's in the fifth house and Rahu is in uh, Rahu is in the eleventh house, for example. Okay. So then Saturn is aspecting Rahu from the 5th to the 11th. Uh, then what happens? Rahu also gives results of the 7th and the 8th house along with the 11th house. Okay. So this person can have a lot of gains after marriage. His or her career might shoot up after marriage. This is how it could happen. Okay. So once you know this, then you go one step further to nakshatras. So when you see the nakshatra where the nakshatra lord where rahu ketu is sitting that that will give you the next level view of what is the level at which the person will play okay so therefore the biggest raj yoga can occur if the 5th 9th 10th and 11th uh, lords are linked with rahu ketu it is not so superficial that oh rahu ketu dispositors are sitting together you know you'll become a millionaire it's not like that so if you are talking of money then the second, sixth, tenth, and eleven. These four are the houses which you need to check. So suppose uh, Rahu is. Uh, so let's take the Cancer ascendant's example. So who is the lord of the second house here for a Cancer ascendant? We all know it's the Sun, right? Then who is the lord of the eleventh house? It is Venus. Then the tenth lord is Mars. Okay. And sixth lord is Jupiter. So in a Cancer ascendant chart, if Rahu or Ketu is conjunct and among these four planets, who, who are the strongest? It is undoubtedly Mars and Venus because they are the lord of the 10th and 11th houses. So if Rahu Ketu in a Cancer ascendant chart is conjunct or aspected by or sitting in the signs of either Mars or Venus, this is the biggest Rajiva you can get career wise. Okay. And if you want a good Raj Yoga for good family life, then maybe Sun could be an important planet, which Rahu Ketu would be conjunct because Sun is the second lord or Saturn also. Because Saturn is the seventh lord. Okay? Or even Venus will work because he's the eleventh lord. Okay? And uh, if you're talking of spiritual progress, then we need to check uh, the fifth house and the ninth house also. So for Cancer, you know, we know Mars and Jupiter are the trinal lords. Okay. So Scorpio is the fifth house and Pisces is the ninth house. <clears throat> so then if Mars or Jupiter is conjunct or aspecting or Rahu Ketu is sitting in signs of Jupiter or Mars, then also this is a very big Rajiva when it comes to spiritual life, you know, higher learning, spiritual progress and all this. Okay. So do not buy into these uh, fake uh, stuff that, you know, if Rahu Ketu's dispositors are conjunct, there's no sutra in the uh, scriptures or... In the classics which says this and uh, what I have told you is a very systematic approach okay and this will hold true for other planets also okay so if other planets not only Rahu Ketu they are sitting in the uh, nakshatras which are ruled by the 10th Lord or the 11th Lord it is fantastic for finances okay so you can use this principle not only for Rahu Ketu for any of the planets okay so whatever works for everything, every other planet will also work for Rahu Ketu. Okay, remember, remember it. So, but Rahu Ketu uh, is a bit different because there are more rules which come into it. Okay, so for example, in a Cancer Ascendant chart, if uh, if two planets are conjunct, Mars and Venus are conjunct, okay, then uh, nothing great might happen. But if they are conjunct Rahu Ketu, then huge things will happen because then the then Rahu Ketu will indicate the tenth and eleventh houses. Because they are the Lord of the 10th and 11th. Okay? And if Rahu Ketu is sitting in uh, either Barni Nakshatra, Purva Shada Nakshatra, Purva Falguni Nakshatra, which are ruled by Venus, or Dhanishta Nakshatra, then we have Mrigashira, then Chitra, which are ruled by Mars, then these are just best placements to have for career. Okay? 
so therefore this is how you know that rahu ketu will give you raj yoga in this case not just by oh they are conjunct you know what if uh, the dispositors of rahu ketu are conjunct uh, but they are in adusthana you know, then it then it could lead to downfall okay but it does not matter where rahu ketu's dispositors are placed okay or if they are conjunct or they are mutually aspecting each other okay it just doesn't matter the only principles which matter for rahu ketu are first where he where they are in the bhav chart second where their dispositors are and which houses the dispositors are ruling which planets are aspecting rahu ketu all right so um, these are the only things which matter okay and as i said you can use the other principles for other planets also and you can get precise accurate results other than just you know thinking and the last question is when will you get these results of course short answer during rahu ketu dashas okay so if you have these placements and rahu ketu dashas come then you will definitely rise in life you will uh, do very good i am not talking of mahadashas even when antar dashas come depending on the power of the mahadasha lord you will go up or the down all right thank you very much for your patience and uh, if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and i will put some other videos on rahu ketu and god is there with you all the time just look for him and you will find him